five seconds. May we have the wrestlers to the ring for the second semi-final, please. on Lenny Hurst, the Jamaica kid. There he is, Scott McGee of Tampa, Florida. 15 stone five. And a good physique there. Good looking fellow with it. There's Lenny. His usual light flower trunks. And here we go for the second semi-final to see which one of these two men takes on Marty Jones, who's already reached the final by defeating Dave Duran of Ireland. We have very little idea as to how, what style this man's got, Scott McGee, because we've never seen him. It's his first time on television in this country, many times in America, of course. I'm sure grapple fans will remember the great Jeff Ports, tremendous British heavyweight from Bradford. Well, he's the man that started this boy in the wrestling game. And if you're taught by a man like Jeff Ports, then you're going to wind up pretty good. Nicely held, very really neat little move off the middle rope. Peter Zakach, the referee in this one, looked a little askance at that, but uh, illegal use of the ropes, I suppose, but uh, didn't seem to worry him too much. Very quick. So once again, remember, 10 minutes duration bout. No wrongs. Just one fall. Submission or knockout decides it. always interesting when you get a man from the United States over here for the first time as to whether he's going to remember <laughs> that the rules over here are very very different indeed to all in wrestling <laughs> where there are no rules at all practically in the United States so far seems to be keeping to them very well. Double wrist lock. McGee. Still got that double wrist lock on. And he has trying to counter with a crunch hole, but uh, couldn't make the lift. Not with a double wrist lock on him. Switch to a back hammer now, McGee. Locking it off, hammer lock. Oh yes, nice reach for that head scissors. Figure four head scissors, the right instep behind the left calf. If he can bridge his way out of this again. Just about 
about half a stone in it weight wise this this man is 15-5 Lenny Hurst at 14-11 Once again, McGee trying to get that double wrist lock position back hammer completed, which he has tried just now, but failed to see if he makes it. Now, once again, he has to give it up. Inside leg hang to get his man over back to canvas. Doesn't the last, though. Hurst up very quickly. <laughs> Crossed head scissors. <coughs> oh, yes, hold him right. <laughs> oh, forgiveness. Really caught that one in the mouth. Good body check. McGee. First, uppercut forearm. And a second. Five minutes long. So, after through the bout, no sign of an attempted pinfall yet, or submission hold, really. If, of course, we don't get a result in one of these semi-finals, then we, it will be up to the referee to give his own opinion on the aggression and the uh, form of points decision, really, to decide who goes in the final against Marty Charles. Oh yes, the, the instep pin nicely around the back of the neck. Same as a spin out, hope for the foot. Lenny Hurst, who always seems to have a pained expression on his face, even when he's winning a move. Lenny Hurst, who incidentally is a part-time pro nowadays, he runs his own pub in Camberwell, the Enterprise, in between few, fewer wrestling dates than before. Switch. Nice switch to follow up with a little bit too early and let me have it coming. Double leg Nelson and a chance for Lenny Hurst then. Leg chopped off it. McGee reaching for the crotch hold, but Hurst turned into it beautifully. And the body check over the top forearm. Got it nicely over the top. And again the check and again the cross press. This time holding the leg to make sure his shoulders stay down and he has. And McGee's got it. In seven minutes, 22 seconds of this 10 minute duration contest, McGee the winner by the one fall required. So it's McGee versus Marty Jones for the final. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in seven minutes and 22 seconds with the one fall required, your winner, Scott McGee.
of the four-man knockout. So Scott McGee is staying with us, and if we may, can we have Marty Jones from the dressing room, please? <laughs> 